We have to see the relationship between the two. You're going to read the question on the board, please? In the Lysias, what goal does Socrates have as he opens his dialogue with Menexenus? And, and for some reason, whoever wrote it didn't continue. Huh. We'll let you continue for him. <laughs> The blue line, of course, suggests negative, right? Negative response. What's three? Red is positive, right? Oh. referring to positive, well, could, another way of saying it is, could you walk those numbers through to tell me what they correspond to? Well, um, I could just take it off and do it over. <laughs> In the same way, but larger, or top <laughs> well, Okay, well, I, have a, I have another pen. A lot of ink. Either way, it could be. And I suppose my friends. One. One is a lover. Two. Is the beloved. Three. Love. Positive yeah. love. Well, see, little the, arrow. It's the he receiving. recognizes, three, he recognizes that this person is loving, he, that he's the object of the loving. Mm -hmm. right, that's positive red. Okay. In response to this chap's loving him, he may hate him. Blue. That's five? No, that's four. four. That's four. The act was five. The act was five, yeah, the loving. The, actual, the loving? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the entire the act between them was five. Well, but isn't it, aren't you talking about that being separate from the two? No, there's both actions. Well, I, I really wouldn't pay much to it, too much attention to at this point. Okay. Just something that it we looked did good last at the time, week, and, and we'll create a new one, and it should be the same or a modification of it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get a couple of readers just to pull it up to this one point. Um, We stopped yes. when they changed. Mm -hmm. They shifted. Yeah, no, we're showing. Well, the visual description of the, the, the description of the side of painting in relationship to the one of the and the bunker, and some of the description of the other. And we're supporting you know, a type of entertainment. How about we pick up a couple of readers at 210E? On hearing him answer this, 
Go ahead, Barbara. I'm hearing him answer this. And Gina, you take the other side. Okay. I glanced at the Thales and nearly made a blunder. For it came into my mind to say, this is the way of the Thales in which you should talk to your favorite, humbly and reducing him, instead of puffing him up and spoiling him, as you do now. Well, I noticed that he was in an agony of embarrassment at what we had been saying, and I remembered how, in standing near, he wished to hide himself from Lysis. So I checked myself and withheld my speech. In the meantime, Menexenus came back and sat down by Lysis in the place he had left on going out. Then Lysis, in a most playful, affectionate manner, unobserved by Menexenus, said softly to me, Socrates, tell me, uh, Menexen tell Menexenus what you have been saying to me. To which I replied, you shall tell him yourself, Lysis, for you gave it your closest attention. I did, indeed. Then try, I went on, to recollect it as well as you can, so that you tell him the whole of it clearly. But if you forget any of it, mind that you ask me for it again when next you meet me. I will do so, Socrates, by all means, I assure you. But tell him something else, that I may hear it too, until it is time to go home. Well, I must do so, I said, since it is you who bid me. But be ready to come to my support, in case Menexenus attempts to refute me. You know what a keen disputant he is. Yes, on my word, very keen. That is why I want you to have a talk with him. So that I may make myself ridiculous? Oh, no, 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 indeed. <laughs> I want you to trounce him. How can I? It is not easy when the fellow is so formidable, a pupil of Stesippus. And here, do you not see, is Tessipus himself. Oh, take no heed of anyone, Socrates. Just go on and have a talk with him. I must comply. Now, as these words pass between us, what is this? Where is the person playing that role? I'll take it. We'll start the sentence and I'll take it. Now, as these words pass between us... What is this feast? that you two are having by yourselves without allowing us to share in your talk. Well, well, we must give you a share. My friend here fails to understand something that I have been saying, but tells me he thinks Menexenus knows, and he urges me to question him. Well, why not ask him then? Mm, but I'm going to. Now, please answer, Menexenus, whatever question I may ask you. There is a certain possession that I have desired from my childhood, as everyone does in his own way. One person wants to get possession of horses, another dogs, another money, and another distinctions. Of these things I, I reck little, but for the possession of friends I have quite a passionate longing, and would rather obtain a good friend than the best quail or cock in the world. Yes, and rather, I swear, than any horse or dog. I believe indeed by the dog that rather than all Darius's gold, I would choose to gain a dear comrade, far sooner than I would Darius himself, so fond am I of my comrades. Accordingly, when I see you and Lysus together, I'm quite beside myself, and congratulate you on being able, at such an early age, to gain this possession so quickly and easily, since you, Menexenus, have so quickly and surely acquired his friendship and he likewise yours, whereas I am so far from acquiring such a thing that I do not even know in what way one person becomes a friend of another, and am constrained to ask you about this very point in view of your experience. Okay, all right. So, there are at least six points, or seven, depending upon how you break it up, but Socrates is talking about friend. Can you make sure you see them all? Take a look at what he's doing. Now, let's assume something. Let's assume he means what he says. Oh, dangerous. Right? Mm -hmm. Why? Why is that difficult? Okay. What's astonishing is that he's saying, hey, you know what? I've had this view from childhood. From childhood, I've had this idea. 
Then he contrasts it, does he not? One person wants to get possession of horses, another dogs, another money, another distinctions. Of these things I reck little, but for the possession of friends I have quite a passionate longing. and would rather obtain a good friend than the best quail or cock in the world. Yes, and rather I swear than any horse or dog. I'd rather than possession, certain class of possessions, desire a good friend. Great, we're together. I believe by the dog that rather than all of Darius's gold, I would choose to gain a dear comrade far sooner than I would Darius, the great king himself. rather than the gold of Darius. And himself. Right. So they're kind of two in one in there. Mm. So, so fond I am of my comrades. Accordingly, when I see you and Lysias together, I am quite beside myself and congr congratulate you on being able in, at such an early age to gain this possession so quickly and easily, since you, Meneximus, have so quickly and surely acquired his friendship and he likewise yours. So he admires it, right? Those who have gained to it quickly. Right? Wow, see. And especially <laughs> easily. Seven, right? <clears throat> Whereas, I do not even know in what way one person becomes a friend of another. Ah, so I'm constrained to ask you about this very point. Very important. See, this is the problem with Plato. Can you take the man seriously? Right? If so, then we can play in the dialogue. So. Well, Peter, how can he say, I don't know how a person becomes a friend of That's what he another. said. I do not know in what way one person becomes a friend of another. But he's just made all these observations about license and the nexus relationship and mm -hmm. yeah. friendship. And he said, and I see you two guys, you've come to it so quickly and easily. I'm astonished. He want, wants to learn from them, evidently. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Well, he establishes their experience and they can't deny it. Ah. Well, they have to answer that. Ah. Ah. To set up. So, look, look at Combs. I find it curious and see if I can pass it along with you. Right? From childhood, he's had this view. You're a lucky guy. The value of friends. Mm -hmm. There's a passionate longing for such a, 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 a relationship, right? He'd rather desire a good friend than anything else mm -hmm. that normally people find a, a kinship with. Rather than the, all the gold of Darius and even gaining Darius as a, a, a colleague. Mm -hmm. Wow. Therefore, I admire those who have gained friendship so quickly and easily. It seems like he's also calling into question whether or not what is gained quickly and easily can he's really be calling considered. into question. He's calling into question whether or not a friendship that is gained easily can be considered a real friendship because then he proceeds to question what is the nature of friendship. <clears throat> But on the other hand, what would happen if he discovered that by heavens they were able to achieve that goal? Mm -hmm. So we're flipping, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But can we accept that? Yeah, he's now starting to move us to the next step. Because from this point on, all of these possible relationships, he's only talking in respect to whether any one of these combinations can produce a friend and which one is the friend to whom or are they both mutually friends. So in this whole model, the goal is not to describe what's going on, which he does very well, but whether or not there's a certain possibility here of friendship emerging, who has it, under what conditions, and is it mutual? Now this is what he means, this is his, this is his statement, see, look at that, from my childhood, <coughs> I don't desire a good friend. Therefore, uh, I got this from uh, Mark Bartholomew, he said, before we go much further, he said, could you please find other quotes that describe what he means by a friend because it doesn't make much sense in the everyday world for someone to praise a friend so highly as all this. Do you have some more references? I do. Um, uh, give us the Stephanus number. Yes. Um, 210. 210? D? Pardon me? 210D. 210D? D as in dog. Yes. I was going to say dog. D. It, it reads, uh, D. If then, if then you become oh, water. Everybody get there. Yeah. Okay, please read it. Mm -hmm. If then you become wise, oh boy, all men will be your friends mm -hmm. and will be familiar with you. For in this case, you will be useful and good. So, we will gain friends if we are wise. Useful, good. Mm. And certain things follow. Right. Certain things forward. follow under such circumstances, agree? Certain control, a whole bunch of things follow. Well, Here, after, well. that, after, that, after that, he says, otherwise, and he tells what the results will be. No, yeah. 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 no. No one at all, not your father, your mother, nor your mm -hmm. intimate connections. Will Have be control, and, and in a way, even end up possessing. Well, see, it's nice to know that that's what we're going to gain. But we need more quotes on what it is. And Jacqueline earlier said that she had a bunch of quotes and she wanted to hold on to them. She was only willing to exchange them for something in return. And she said she'd most appreciate 
being a friend. <laughs> was, that, was that the way you put it? That's how I was putting it. So, okay, come on, come on, we need it. Come on, I need a bunch of quotes. Come on, I need help. Here. <laughs> and the lysis. What goal does Socrates has as he opens his dialogue with Menaxinus? And we have several quotes. I got one. John. Uh, the main goal is. Um, now you can go anywhere for friends. So we move from this. Okay. To whatever defines friend. I have the goal. Well, that's, I knew you'd be. You'd come to our aid. Two o four. Stefano's number. Oh yeah. Two o four e nine. Two o four to two o five a. Hold it just two. a moment. I got to turn my page right. as fast as you do. Page ten in the load. Shh. Two page All right. four. <clears throat> What a lover ought to say to his beloved. Yeah, please read. Now please go on and give me a performance like those that you give your friends here, so that I may know whether you understand what a lover ought to say of his favorite to his face or to others. Wait, that's 205. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Page I said, yeah, good. 205, uh, 81. Why don't you read the whole paragraph? Because oh. I think you need it. Thank you. Oh, well, I said, Hippocrates, what an altogether noble yeah. and gallant love you have discovered there. Now, please go on and give me a performance like those that you give your friends here, so that I may know whether you understand what a lover ought to say of his favorite to his face or to others. How will this help us understand what he means by friend? Um, because a friend knows what he ought to say to his beloved. I guess you're saying the equivalent to the idea of favorite would be a friend? A beloved. Or a beloved? Oh, uh, yeah. um, uh, yeah. Well, it's interesting. He does, he does layer those two. Don't see. There are people here who are going to question whatever you say, and I'm on your side. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm ready to defend. Well, does that tell us what a friend is, or what a lover ought to say to his beloved? Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, well, he's looking, I'll call him. Okay, well, I'm, I'm saying... Stefan? What? Well, I'm just throwing this out there. That the uh, as a, as far as a modern equivalent, mm. it seems like uh, this is more like uh, in the seventies what a socialist would call their comrade. It's like a friend that you would that would uh, you, that's it's like friends for life, like brothers or like some kind of familial. Even though thing. brothers aren't often friendly for lives. No. <laughs> brothers. <laughs> the, uh, Please don't laugh. I was just, I'm doing it straight now. Don't go ahead. <laughs> right. Brothers in the uh, Detroit sense. What does that mean? Well, look at, look at that. We can congratulate that, can we? But now let's get back to the blooming dialogue. See whether we can find something. Can I try again, please? Sure, sure, sure. I think that Danny might have been trying to save me just now when I was completely off of your real question over here. Um, thinking that the conversation he was having with Hippocles is equitable to the one he was having with the sure. Exodus at 211. I appreciate that. By the way, what does uh, Socrates mean by the word friend? Can you find some quotes that would help us? Well, you also wanted to know what good, what goal does yeah. Socrates have. And we did get this at... Uh, 211D, and specifically number seven, I do not know in what way one person becomes a friend of another. Yeah, and I therefore, like that. that's what I would pick. That, okay, that. good, then you know what's right. Well, not that there's not more. All right. Yeah. No. <laughs> already fell into one trap of thinking okay. that I know. Come on, we need some more quotes. I can't give you a quote, it'll be usefulness. Sir, Hedge, or Stefanis number? 
Uh, I don't have that, but it's 20, mm -hmm. it's 21 and below, about halfway mm -hmm. down. Yeah. And it says, you know, and... Hold it. Jump in. And, you know, friends are said to have everything in common, so that there is... So that here, at least, there will be no difference between you, and you say, if what you say of your friendship is true. What's this defined from? And this is the one, of course, which uh, I like because then the most important thing to do would be to get someone who's both wise and rich. <laughs> yes. Then you have half their fortune. Exactly. And you're half witted. And I need it. <laughs> so what is that answer, Martin? Some more quotes. This quote for describing friendship. The other quote is in the Vogue on page uh, 31. Okay, please hold it. Friendship. <laughs> and so it actually starts on the bottom of page 29 as I look at it. And he says, Then will anyone count us his friends or have any affection for us in those matters for which we are useless? And he says, Surely not, he said. So now you see your father does not love you, nor does anyone love anyone else so far as one is useless. Yes. Apparently not, he said. Then you can become wise, my boy. Everybody <coughs> will be your friend. Everyone will be intimate with you, which is what we read before. Therefore, the friend should be useful. useful. There's and another good. word there, too, isn't there? Wise. 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 Good. 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 Wise. Wishful and good. Because if, you, if you're wise, no. everyone will be your friend, everyone will be intimate with you, since you will be useful and good. Right, right, right. Take them both. Okay? Let's get some more. Well, um, um, the section that you already read up, page 33, 211D, the one that you didn't write up that I... Could you stop on number? 211D. Yeah, 211D. There's one that you already did, but there's, it says, there is a certain possession that I have desired, so friendship is a possession. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gain, friend. So it, it implies gain, yeah. Possession. Um, mm -hmm. I can use that. Come on, more quotes. That's it? Look, let me put it this way. Whatever you find here you should justify this. And I guess you'd say that's sufficient. Say no. Again. no. No. Sorry, Pierre. Whatever. What is going to justify what? Well, whatever we find about friends should in some way help us understand why he regards it so highly. Gotcha. Well, how far, in a, how far forward can we move? I've I'll go well, to the end of the dialogue. 214. I'll go. 214 C. No, A. A. Okay, I'll go for 214 A to C. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, they say, therefore, not badly with, and I'm reading the Taylor, I apologize. They say, therefore, not badly with reference to such as our friends, that divinity makes them to be friends by conducting them to each other. But I think they thus speak, likeness to likeness, God forever leads and makes it known. Or have you not met with these verses? I have. Have you therefore likewise met with the writings of the wisest of men in which it is said that the similar is always necessarily a friend to the similar? But these men are those that discourse and write about nature and the universe, he replied. What you say is true. Whether or no, therefore, do you speak well? Perhaps so, I replied. Perhaps the half of this is true and perhaps also the whole. 
Where are you at? What page? 214A to C. 41 to 43. 41 to 43 and all of that. See, you know, when we're dealing with Plato, remember, we're always dealing with that curious problem. Uh, yeah. Whatever you're talking about, uh, you'll also talk about its opposite or its lack of. And therefore, he's going to put things that are positive and negative, positive and negative. And therefore, you have to be sure to pick up the negative side, which turns out to be rather important in that quote. Uh, Right, let's let's go. Going. Okay, take a look at that quote. Go a little further. Uh, okay. But what I believe they mean, right? Got that? That's just about it. See? What I believe they mean, see, he's under, showing us how he understands that quote, is that the good are like one another and are friends, while the bad... It's also said of them, are never like even in their own selves, being so ill-balanced, unsteady. And when a thing is unlike itself and variable, it can hardly become like or friend to anything else. See, those are negatives. Transfer them into positives. Like, like, mm -hmm. like to itself and unchanging, it looks like. Yeah, unchanging, right. Balanced, steady. It's never like even their own selves, therefore. Like, always like themselves. Always like themselves. And being balanced, balanced and steady. Mm -hmm. And not stupid, um, wise. wise. And they're good. And constant, not variable. So they're good or like them one another. So. Right. so we're pulling together. See, uh, good, bad, so therefore that's what we always must look for. Good, 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 good. You said that's a common method that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, like like themselves. Or like their own selves. Put that in brackets. Constant, not variable. Goes on to say it can't hurt hurt this itself or it won't harm whatever mm -hmm. is like it. Mm -hmm. Hold on for a second. What what about the sentence the end of the, just if you like on the end of that prior passage? It says it can hardly become like or friend to anything else. So unlike itself and variable, it can hardly become like or friend to anything else. So does that mean that in being like itself and constant it could become like something else. Friend, life, therefore friend to something else. So it's capable of... Um, That's right. Is that what Capable of, go ahead. Becoming like something else. That's right. We're talking about the bad there. <laughs> right, we, we're changing the next to positive. Oh, 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 I got it. Uh, so yeah. It's still positive. So it has to be well, We're still at 2.14. Uh, D5, D, D, right on, looks like. Let me put it around this way. Huh? Capable of becoming like the other. Mm. Okay, not bad. Not good. It's getting, getting better. I think somewhere in here I had a favorite quote, but... Um, 
I shouldn't. Sir? On page 47, there's another Hey, 27? 47. Oh, I'll go for 47. Stephanus, please. Wait a while. That's okay. That's fine. You have it? 216. 216 is the stuff on the Okay. Now, on that page 47 in the load, he's talking about this thing of opposites. He says, uh, starts with this quote. I guess it starts on page 45. I'm sorry. He goes, I don't know the stuff on the right now. He goes, now observe this, yes. How we are missing the track. Can it be indeed that we are deceived in the whole matter? How so? He asked. Once on a once on a time, I heard somebody say, and I have just recollected it, that like was most hostile to like, and so were good men to good men. And what is more, he put forward Tessad as witness by quoting his words: "See Potter wrought with Potter, bard with bard, beggar with beggar." And in all other cases. It was the same, he said. Likeness things must need be filled with envy, contention, and hatred against each other, but the unlike things with friendship. Since the poor man must needs be friendly to the rich and the weak to the strong for the sake of their assistance, and also the sick man to the doctor, and every ignorant person has had to cherish the well-informed and love him. And then the speaker pursued his theme to this further and more imposing point, that like could not in the slightest degree be friendly to like, but was in just the opposite case. For it was between things most opposed that friendship was chiefly to be found, since everything desired its opposite, not its like. Then are we to say that the opposite is most friendly to its opposite? Right, is that the conclusion? Yep. Well, look, look, we stop there. To it. No, look, we have to be careful when we find out this information, whether he's setting up an analysis of a false position and is concluding falsely about it to show the person the absurdity of their position. So watch when you give me a quote that it doesn't help take on this character. Well, this quote is to show the absurdity of the position. No, no. I'll, I'll take that, by the way. Um, I do think that uh, um, I wasn't going to give mine because mine is disturbing. <laughs> and I oh, wanted to be a friend to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew right away I'd get a bunch of laughs. Yeah. Do it anyway. Uh, Take a chance. How about uh, 221C? I'll check it out. Well, um, I think if we, um, it 
222 is pretty central to this whole position. Um, but it's such a long section. The reading talent we've got around here? No, man, at the very mm -hmm. end. Right. At the very end, he says he has. they haven't figured out what a friend is. Mm -hmm. Of course not. <laughs> That's why we're having fun. Um, okay, how about 222B, and we can get someone to read for us. So then with the design, the reviewing, the argument, got that? On page 67 in this text. Yep. So then... With the design of reviewing the argument, I proceeded. If there is any difference between what belongs and what is like, it seems to me, let's see, it's a menexis, menex, menexis, that we might give some account of the meaning of friend. But if like and belonging are the same, it is not easy to get rid of our former statement that the like is useless to the like, insofar as they have likeness. And to admit that the useless is friendly would be a gross mistake. So how could we agree now, I said, since our argument has made us quite tipsy to say that the belonging and the like are two different things? By all means, then shall we maintain that the good itself belongs to everyone while the bad is alien? Or does the bad belong to the bad, the good to the good? and what is neither good nor bad to what is neither good nor bad? They agree, they agree <coughs> that the last three pairs belong together. So here again, boys, I said, we have dropped into the very statement regarding friendship, which we rejected at first. For now the unjust will be as much as a friend of the unjust, and the bad of the bad, as the good of the good. So it seems, he said. And what is more if we say that the good and the belonging are the same? We cannot avoid making the good a friend only to the good, to be sure. But this again, you know, is a view of which we thought we had disabused ourselves. You remember, don't you? Do you not? We do. So what more can we do with our argument? Obviously, I think nothing. I can only ask you accordingly, like the professional peddlers in the law courts, uh, pleaders, pleaders, pleaders rather, in the law courts, to perpend the whole of what has been said. If neither the loved nor the loving, nor the like, nor the unlike, nor the good or the belonging, nor all the rest that we have tried in turn, they are so many, they are so many that I, for one, fail to remember any more. Well, if none of these is a friend, I am at a loss for anything further to say. Continue. Yes. Having thus spoken, I was minded to stir up somebody else among the older people there, when, like spirits from another world, there came a Upon us, the tutors of Menexus and Lysias, they were bringing along the boys' brothers and called out to them the order to go home, for it was quite late. At first we tried, with the help of the group around us, to drive the tutors off, but they took no notice of us at all and went on angrily calling, as before, in their foreign accent. We decided that they had taken a drop too much at the festival and might be awkward customers. So we gave in to them and broke up our party. However, just as they were moving off, I, re I remarked, Today, Lysias Menechnus, we have made ourselves ridiculous. I am an old man, as well as you. For these others will go away and tell how we believe we are friends of one another. For I count myself in with you. But for what a friend is, we have not yet succeeded in discovering
One more puzzling quote. Okay, just one more. <laughs> Hold that in mind. Uh, 219. This is a real curious one. Second curious one. 219A or? Um, For, I'm at D, 219. For suppose we view the matter thus. Right, got that? Yeah, now that should follow the discussion that preceded it. And if it is a friend, it is also for the sake of something. Yes, you see it's a dialogue. So I'd like to get into this because it's a rather interesting argument using wine and gold. And I think it might start at uh, very well, I said, on 219B. Hence the friend is a friend uh, of its friend for the sake of its friend and because of its foe, so it seems. Very well, I said. Since we have reached this point, my boys, let us take good heed not to be deceived. All right, here we go. Thank you. I pass over without remark the fact that the friend has become a friend to the friend, and thus the like becomes a friend to the like, which we said was impossible. There is, however, a further point which we must examine if we are not to find our present argument a mere deception. Medicine, we say, is a friend for the sake of health. Yes. Then is health a friend also? Certainly. And if it is a friend, it is so for the sake of something. Yes. And that something is a friend, if it is to conform to our previous agreement. Quite so. Then will that something be, on its part also, a friend for the sake of a friend? Yes. Now, are we not bound to weary ourselves with going on in this way, unless we can arrive at some first principle which will not be keep leading us on from one friend to another, but will reach the one original friend, for whose sake all the other things can be said to be friends. We okay, must. do that sentence again. Yeah, do that one. Yes, now, are we not bound to tire ourselves out with going on in this way, unless we can arrive at some first principle, which will not keep leading us on from one friend to another, but will reach the one original friend, for whose sake all the other things can be said to be friends. <laughs> Got it? Look at this, Donald. Okay. Um, but we'll reach the one original friend for whose sake all the other things can be said to be friends. I find that interesting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your question? Just uh, mull that before you go further, okay? He's not talking about... An original friend, right? Yeah, well, is he talking about a particular... Uh... No, that's one of the issues, that's right. So he says, be careful now, you might be deceived by what I'm saying. Yeah. <clears throat> but we must... So you see, what I am afraid of, that all the other things which we cited as friends for the sake of that one thing may be deceiving us like so many phantoms of it, while the original thing may be the veritable, veritable friend. Veritable. Yeah. Is he kind of, Veritable, right? Is he kind of backhandedly talking about the shadows in the cave again? Uh, it's going to get worse. Oh, I know. Well, no, it's watch. Going to get worse. No, no, because he's going to give the example, see? And that's what we need. Watch. For instance, see, he's saying, what I just said may not be clear. I'm going to give you an example, an instance. For instance, on learning, right? for suppose we view the matter thus. When a man highly values a thing, as in the common case of a father who prizes his son above all his possessions, will such a man, for the sake of placing his son 
before everything, value anything else highly at the same time. Uh, for instance, on learning that the son, he, had drunk some hemlock, would he value wine highly if he believed it would save his son's life? Why, of course. And the vessel, too, which contained the wine? Certainly. Hmm. Now, does he make no distinction in value at that moment between the cup of earthware and his uh, own son, or between three pints of wine and his son? Or may we perhaps state it thus? All such concerns is not entertained for the actual things which are applied for the sake of something, but for that something for which sake all the rest are applied. I know that we often talk of setting great value on gold and silver, but surely we're no nearer the truth of the matter for that. What we rather value above everything is the thing, whatever it may prove to be, for whose sake gold and all the other commodities are applied. May we state it so? By all means. Then shall we not give the same account of a friend? And speaking of all the things that are friends to us, for the sake of some other friend, we find ourselves uttering a mere phrase, whereas in reality, friend appears to be simply and solely the thing in which all these so-called friendships terminate. So it appears. Then the real friend is a friend for the sake of nothing else. That's a friend. Now, what, is it? what did he just do? What the heck is going on? Now, let me just you know, re review the obvious. Uh -huh. <laughs> the architect of friendship. <laughs> this phrase, that for the sake of which, Right, is the final cause. Right? There are different causes. Right? The cause for this chalk right, is a material. Right? Someone had to somehow fashion it the way it is. Agree? Right? Huh. Uh, someone had to fashion it. Right? That means there had to be some workman. Or some kind of an efficient cause that's producing it. And that could never be done if there wasn't some plan guiding the workman or the efficient cause. Agree? But even though you have the plan and the workman and the material, it's not going to produce anything unless it is for something. If I have a barn, I, I have material for it, I have the workmen out front, I have the plan. I'm not going to get the barn built unless it's for the sake of someone, unless it's for some purpose. Isn't that in the that's plan? That's the final, though? that's the part, pardon me? Isn't that part of the plan? The, no. no. wouldn't be in the plan of how to build the house, that build the barn. The, the for sake of which is part of the plan, no. Yeah. Would it be in the would it be in the blueprint? By the way, we are building this for Harry, who wants it in order to store some grass he's growing in the backyard. No, it's the purpose that sets it in motion. Right, that's the final cause. I got it. Yeah, that's right. the, okay. It wouldn't be in the plan, would it? Well, but you may shape the plan to hold Oh, oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. To holding corn or something like that. Yeah. While it might shape it, it's not in the plan. Okay. Right, okay. So that's the final cause. That for the sake of which it came into existence. Right, that's the language. That for the sake of which it came into existence is the final cause. So then, is, is it accurate to say that what we're searching for is that final cause? 
No. That were all friendships terminated. I'm paraphrasing. Okay. Without that, we don't know what a friend is. Okay. Now it's going to get worse. Okay, just for a moment. Okay, get gets a little worse. So we have got rid of this. And it is not for the sake of some friendly thing that the friend is friendly. But now, is the good a friend? I should say so. Is the good a friend? Is the good a friend? <coughs> Are all friends friends because behind it all it is for ultimately for a good? Yeah. And so we have got rid of this and, it, and uh, it is not for the sake of some friendly thing that the friend is friendly, but now, is the good a friend? I should say so. And further, it is because of the bad that the good is loved. Let me state the case as follows. There are three things which we uh, have been speaking of. One, two, three, right? Good, bad, neither good or bad. Um, you know, before I do that, I just want to go back to this image of the gold and silver, okay? Just, just to make sure. All of the gold and silver and everything else, all the commodities, and gold is not worth anything. It's that for the sake of which you can you have the gold. So that for the sake of which you have a friend is for what? A real friend. A real friend. What does that mean? Come on, try it. For the soul. Pardon? You, you have a friend for the development of... <clears throat> a friend is for mutual development, for the development of one and another. And mutual development is... Good. It's good. It's good. And hence... Ah, so then friends are friends not thought. because they are friendly to one another, but because they seek... The good. The good. Mm -hmm. Ah. Then is the good a friend? <laughs> yes. Well, that's rather curious. It's the conditions for friendship. Huh. Yes. Is it? We left a friend out there on that couple. No, it's for the sake of which they are friends. We did. The development, the development towards the good is the friend. But the good is the ultimate. I would say the good is the fount and foam from which friend derives mm -hmm. from which friend comes. Yeah. Loud. You hear that? No. no, louder, please. I think uh, good is the spigot that spews out friends. <laughs> Charles? Must be a shorty. What a shorty. From which it's fun. You turn good and get friends. So, like you turned on good. <laughs> She's a friend to that. <clears throat> so, what do you think? I mean, what's, uh, tell me about this. What point did he make then? With the son, Sancho Camlock, and he relates it to even all gold and possession. Mm -hmm. And a friend. What is the final goal for a friend? It's been suggested that. <coughs> There must be a good. Mm -hmm. right. Does that mean, therefore, the good, by necessity, is a friend? Hmm. This is a different view of the good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But it is because we want to be like it. Right? We want to be like it, and right. that which you become you like, yeah. you become friends with. It is for the sake of which you're friends. <laughs> yeah, but if you come, become one, if you become like the good, then you, of course, you no longer have any interest in it. What? Uh-uh. 
No, well, it's the repetition of it. What backwards is twa. Uh, <laughs> no, no, say more. Come on. Let's see. Well, you wouldn't lack it if you could enter into it or you somehow become one with it, so you wouldn't lack it, but it certainly wouldn't be the kind of sufficiency or lack that that would be boring or dull because it would be the most the fullest thing that you can imagine more life more vitality more so yeah but once you have it do you want it anymore no. i mean when you have it you have it don't you then you don't desire it you already have it i want to see if that's true could be yeah i, I think so there, that's still not guessing yes <laughs> Well, but it's not something that you have in the same way that you have a material possession. It's something that you enter into and join with, become one with, so therefore it's a perpetual perpetual state of oneness and wonder and goodness. But in that state, would you want it if you already possess it? <laughs> yeah. No. Why? You already no, got it. You already got it. it. What sort of want? I wouldn't want it, but I would have... <laughs> No, I wouldn't want it. How could you have space to want it? Yeah, no, you wouldn't. No, 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 come on, louder. Yeah. No, I agree, you would not want it if you were already... Were you're already it. sufficient. If you're in it. what you have, it. oh, right, right, then. Yeah. Same. But Does this yeah. echo back to the symposium? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Is love a desire? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing for? I was just going along with your laugh. Well, I was laughing because it, it sounds as if Julie has been down this road before. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He anticipates where it might lead. Go ahead, dude. Go ahead. And he's reluctant Take about the young ones for her life. <laughs> well, come on, Julie. I'm doing this. It's all right. Pass it off to the young. So, this word. So you philosopher. Right. Well, that's a way to get her to do it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if love is a desire, if love is a desire for something that you lack, that you want to have, then a philosopher must necessarily always. lack wisdom. Yep. Mm -hmm. right. right, and therefore he pursues it. Right. right. So is Diotima a philosopher? No. What is she called? Uh, Wives. Uh, huh? Therefore she doesn't doesn't desire it. No. Why? She, she, has she has it. it. Or is it? Or is it? And that's where he goes on to that, in what way could be said to possess something? Yeah. Right? Remember, you can possess it in two ways. You can either possess it temporarily. Remember that great example? Or you can want it to continue. Of, of the golden locks he has. He said, oh, good heavens, if we used lead, what would it do? It would whiten his hair. Ah! What's the point? Is that a temporary condition? Is that get to the nature of something? You get to the nature of it. You say, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, you can get whiteness as a consequence of your own growth, and you get old, you may have white hair, then it is your nature now shifting from your golden locks to gray hair. Idea of nature then changes, does it not, depending upon the condition of the subject. Ah. Oh. So therefore, look here. Is wisdom, the object of wisdom, is that a friend? Yes. Okay, let me change it. Yes. Let me change it. Yes. Change. Yes. There is a... <laughs> Boy, here. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to change something. I've got a right to change things, don't I? Yes. You do. It's just All right. a race right. after you. I know. Right. <laughs> I'm hoping to keep up, but some of us are... Go back to those. He's absolutely right in point seven. He's right that he does not know in what way a one a friend a person becomes a friend of another. No. In what respect? There is no way. No. And you say that because Well, but think about it for a moment. And you say that because... <laughs> okay, okay, because then you'd have to have that as a plan. You'd have to go through some kind of process. 
It'd have to have stages, development, would it not? Yes, would. Well, suppose, suppose it doesn't have that at all. Suppose it doesn't have that. Bam. Except dams. Bam, I said. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> okay, look at Try this. Look at Just for a moment. Uh, here you can see a beautiful picture of the people in the dialogue. Early or original position. All right. We could go to the text, could we not? Mm -hmm. And find their original position. Mm -hmm. Each of the four people in the dialogue mentioned. Okay. Oh, by the way, could we then go <coughs> at the end? Mm -hmm. And see whether or not there's been oh, some change? Change. Mm -hmm. If there has been a change, is it possible it might be in the direction of some kind of growth? Hmm. Some kind of growth. Is that possible? Yes, of course, there's another possibility. Is it equally possible that through this there's also interrelationships? Hmm. Expressed. Yes, sir. Like uh, Socrates says, oh, good heavens, I was going to make this point and I held back. He hold back to the dialectical or the exploration of the dialogue because he sees the condition that Epiphalamides is in. Agree? Yes. Right. right. So there's also interrelationships then with Socrates. And with others in the dialogue. Agree? Right? We could chart it, could we not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's assume now we have this table all sketched out. Um, is it possible that uh, there's growth going on? Fundamental change in positions? Yeah. And uh, who did it again? What's his name? Socrates. Socrates. Socrates, I see. Socrates. Now, I'm going to escape after I make the next point, because okay? someone might throw a book. <clears throat> Is this an example of friendship? Yes. Is Socrates being a friend? If he's good and... Well, every, several times he addresses the other people by saying, my friend. Is this a model? <laughs> like, what yes. if someone were to it's, do this? It's a good question, but yeah, no, it needs to clarify. Yes. It's a good one. How is that the case? See, like in the Mino, right? Uh, what is virtue? People think it's a failure, except for one thing. Right? What's that one thing? He's showing what virtue is through the whole dialogue. And he brings, does he not, the boy to experience a certain set of virtues? and encourages Mino at the end of the dialogue to do something which if he did, he would become virtuous, virtuous without ever defining it. Mm -hmm. Because it may not be that, it may be something to experience mm -hmm. that can do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be curious, wouldn't it? Yes. Therefore, Pierre, therefore sure. we could take the qualities we saw of a friendship and apply them to Socrates and the actions that's going on in the dialogue itself. Oh. And to see if he's useful. In, in other words, uh -huh. is he being the ideal friend mm -hmm. to pull this off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you should be able to fill in this table. Hold it. No. And would the uh, would it then end with the interrelationship of those others, and that's recursive uh, 
that all we would judge is whether it turns out to be a good. Useful good. Not for the sake of which he does what he does. Then if, uh, if we look at the difference between this, this kind of friendship and, uh, say, a shallow modern friendship, I don't know them. No. Well, say, uh, as an example, let's say that there were two people whose uh, sole friendship is based on uh, that they uh, they like the same band and they can they can get uh, rubber laid. band. Yeah, and they can get laid if they go and uh, appear a certain way together at this certain band. Now, it's not really the Their idea of friendship isn't necessarily... Someone you know? The, uh, <laughs> it's, is this someone you know? Like everybody. Everybody. I have a, I have yeah. a friend who does so, this. So they, it, it wouldn't be... It's just their idea of the good. If their idea of the good was to seek pleasure... If they have an idea of the good... Well, it's not the good. Their idea might be seeking pleasure is oh, yeah. replaced with the no, good. No. Then you, it, it's almost identical. It's just that uh, they've, they've taken instead of the good and replaced it with something else. Oh, that's all. That's all. <laughs> that was your remark. I just repeated it back to you, and now you're finding a suspicion, an object of suspicion. That's a huge deal. Uh, that's the difference between... Uh, you know, a, a, uh, I guess a collapse in civilization and one that uh, inquires into things. But. See, what we want to see now, we're going to go back into the model. And he's going to be saying, regardless of what kind of relationship you can identify here, the issue is always, is there evidence from such a way of being? Could that possibly qualify as a friend? Does a friendship function in this? Or is that, is that, by the way, a problem in relationships? Uh, you might, in fact, want a friend. And no one knows quite how to be one. Well, both people are right. looking out for is the this, highest it, good. Is, is Socrates right? trying to say, in essence, that, and since we didn't do the dialogue, I have to agree with Seven that I really don't know, you know, what a friend is. But it's sort of like the, the business of pornography. I can't tell you what it is, but I know it when I see it. <laughs> oh, you know. Good. I know that I was a joke, by the way. <laughs> I was hoping you could understand it as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's a quote from a Supreme Court justice that's real. That's right. That's what I said. No, I'm with it. Okay, and I can look at this and I'm going, is this what he's talking about? I may not be able to tell you what it is, but I know it when I see it. No, okay. No. Okay, see, I do not know virtue, uh, friendship, etc. We're going to have a whole bunch of things going on. Here. Right. This raises the question whether these are objects of knowledge. Hmm. And there may be, a, may be an object of a certain kind of experience that may not, may, may not have anything to do with knowledge. What he means by knowledge. So then, isn't the desire for a friend the same as the desire for the good? If so, then that's a good relationship. That was good, that was good wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, but, but that depends. That depends, though, does it not, on sure. having a, the more profound understanding of what the good is well, also, would elevate the friendship. To know what a friend is, if, if my statement is right, to know what a friend is, you must also know what the good is. To put it the other way around, the more you can say you know what the good is, the easier it is to relate to a friend in a good way. They're the very nefarious aspect. But, but they may not want it. Okay. That you have it, that's implied in your chart that was not mentioned. You see, your attempt to give wisdom or to try to show a person something good can also have a bad effect. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. So, sure. In the same sense, yeah. the interplay of Socrates with 
the, um, the participants in this dialogue, even though in, in his gift it was friendship, in their reception it was almost vice because it hardened their hearts. That's right, that's right. The effect may be negative. That's right. So if the effect is negative... Yeah, but a lot of good things have a negative effect. That's what, that's what he says in the Good beginning. medicine may taste terribly. <laughs> no, no, and you may go through all kinds of psychic states, but in the end it may be good for you. So yes, these people may walk away rather bitter, or a number of them, but the question is whether or not it's good. He said at the beginning... Uh, page, you get everyone with you, Page 31. 31, that's a good page. Oh, I had to Hold on, hold just for a moment, please. The last paragraph. Yeah, hold on. Please. He said, on hearing him answer this, I glanced at oh, yeah. Hippophiles and nearly made a blunder, for it came into my mind to say, this is the way, Hippophiles, in which you should talk to your favorite, humbling and reducing him, instead of puffing him up and spoiling him as you do now. No. Yeah, keep going. But he said, no, no, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. He goes, well, I noticed that he was in an agony of an embarrassment at what he had been saying. And I remembered how, in standing near, he wished to hide himself from Lysias. So I checked myself and withheld my speech. That's right. Was that being a friend? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. See, that's the relationship, see. Mm -hmm. So he is showing the way. He is dem this, he's demonstrating a way to be a friend if we go through the dialogue and like quotes like that or uh, 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 ways of being, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, mm -hmm. yeah, if I can help, someone may just follow it logically through. That's, for Plato, that's heuristic. You're following it logically. He's saying, even though I see where this position should go, I judge where the person is, and I have to make the judgment whether it's worth pushing it logically to this conclusion or whether I should hold back. What kind of a judgment is that? The wise judgment. It's, you would say? It's wise. Wise. It's, it's, a good? Yeah, he's demonstrating wisdom. Some good. kind of... So that's what I mean. If we did this, we should be able to see something. And would you not agree, if we did this, Egmar would be one of the people who had the, perhaps the best one. Do you think? Definitely. If we did and so next week we can ask him to go to the board and do the work rather than me because I need a break. See yes. Oh, there he is. There, uh, we're just talking about it. Uh, I wasn't quite satisfied with the idea that he's wise because I'd like to hear a little bit more about that. Like, what does it mean to be well, wise? You ask the person who said it. How would you put it, my friend? Good, good. <laughs> well, okay, in the example that was cited where he restrained himself from pointing out what he was going to point out to to My argument was that he was demonstrating yeah. wisdom because he showed restraint. And wisdom in the sense that he was able to judge and determine what would be a benefit to Hippothalamus. And it seemed that he recognized that it wouldn't be to his benefit in that moment to point out what he was going to point out about this is how you should talk to your beloved, etc. and so forth. Yeah. Why is that wise? Because he was making a determination, it seemed to me, making a determination of what would be of most benefit in that question. What do you call doing that? To him? What do you Wisdom. call the entire process that he goes through to do that? Wisdom. Wisdom. <laughs> the most benefit would be a goodness. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Go. I'd say the reason why it's wise is because he's turning his mind around. He's okay. questioning himself. Oh, okay. Well, wait a minute. Like Look it's, it's reflective what he's doing. He's seeing. Right. He's he's seeing what is good and useful for him to He's reflecting that moment. He's doing his lucia. Anyways, that was my answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's what that's what, that, that's what makes it wisdom. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, I know. Somebody has the answer. I don't, I just, I don't want to keep up. going on. Like, Hold oh, back the horses but, for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what about it? Right. 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 Hold back. Go on, tell us. I know. Okay. Favors, favors, favors. Yeah, they're draft galloping along. What's your question? I'm yeah. sorry, I just am not quite understanding. So he makes judgments and determinations. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
What about, what's going to bring the benefit of all? But what's he doing? What's the substance of it? It's a thoroughbred. What does that mean, the judge? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you done stopping him from answering? I wanted to continue. I just want to make a couple of remarks. Okay? But you didn't check One. Okay. And a remark I've made before I want to make it again. If any of you have a particular interest, you want to get to the take a Friday night and explore it or do it, please let us know so we can give you the chart and do it. I'm not the only person who uses the chart. Here. Now, Daniel asked he would like to have a talk. Uh, was it uh, Jacqueline or you? Were you or both together have a talk and present something? Yeah, yeah, no, no. They were going to do. They were going to explain. Um, what were you going to explain? <laughs> okay, principle. Okay. If anyone has a particular point of view or work they want to bring up and take over for a Friday night, please let us know. And of course, they can, we can make room. Okay? okay. Why? After we get out of the license, which we're not going to be able to for a while, it's been a suggestion to go into the Phaedrus. Now, there's been a whole storm of opposition against that. I'm leading it. <laughs> and I warned you guys, if you get in the Phaedrus, you're going to have to get the Thomas and, and um, into Proclus's commentary of oh, the Phaedrus, which occupies a good distance. Barbara. Two things. So we're going to be doing the license next week. Do we have yes, we will do the license. Okay. Yeah, because now we want to do it. We just, I just wanted to do what okay. Socrates cool. is doing. Second, I'm the okay. secretary, corresponding secretary. If anybody wants to have the emails about when we're dark, when we don't have a session, or what what work we're working on, you need to give me your name yeah. and your email. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good. Good. Any other announcements? Okay. We have some extra copies. Break. Hold it. There are some extra copies up here of Philosophy as a Writer Rebirth and also the Index to Plato from this. It's actually part of a Jowett thing, but these are the newest uh, releases from Prometheus Trust. Oh. And if anybody wanted them and didn't get on the original list, they do have extras. And you can get both for 35 bucks. Oh, it costs money. <laughs> oh. <laughs>